Meanwhile, the state Supreme Court is refusing to step into a water rights case after the Attorney General said water restrictions hampered Maui firefighters' efforts in battling the blaze. That kind of allegation also brought scores of environmental and water advocates to the Capitol today, demanding the reinstatement of a state executive they say was wrongly accused of withholding water during the fires. Daryl Hoff has the story. These folks say they didn't really want to come to the Capitol today. They'd rather be focused on the needs of Maui, but they say they had to come together to fight what they say is a power grab over water by the governor. With song they hoped would be heard in the governor's office, they demanded the reinstatement of Deputy DLNR Director Kaleo Manuel, who'd headed the State Water Commission through the difficult process of allotting water to public and private water systems while restoring flows to streams and traditional farmers. I can attest that Kaleo's collaborative and innovative ways of addressing issues brought opposing parties together. After a complaint that he delayed approval for West Maui Land Company to refill its reservoirs for firefighting, Manuel was suddenly reassigned, which many saw as the first step by powerful property owners to get back more water. Not even 24 hours after the devastating wildfires obliterated our precious Lahaina corporations like West Maui Land Company and Alexander and Baldwin were already making moves to take back full control over Maui's water. The allegation that stream restoration allocations kept water from firefighters, which was also made by the Attorney General, seemed to be reinforced by the fact that fire hydrants did run dry in Lahaina. The Water Department said that was probably because so many water pipes were destroyed by fire, the hydrants lost pressure. The county said firefighters that day had no need for water it was going to streams, but even the governor seemed to believe it. There are currently people still fighting, still fighting in our state, giving us water access to fight and prepare for fires. Activist and Kalo farmer Kakai Keahi says the false narrative was designed to scapegoat traditional stream users. The blame was put on Kaleo and also the so-called activists like myself who fought to restore these, these streams. I think the governor is under a lot of pressure from the major landowners to use this as an opportunity to change the balance of control over water. Returning to the oligarch plantation practices of water management in the past, where corporations controlled nearly all of Hawaii's water, is something we will never allow to return to. The governor's office, the land department, and West Maui land did not comment on the demand for Manuel's reinstatement. Advocates say this divisive battle will make it harder to unify the community around the recovery of Lahaina. Reporting from the state capitol, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Daryl.